Okay, this is just going to be a quick little uh, video log. Um, so as you know, I've been uh, pretty much away for a while and uh, now I'm trying to get back into things. So first off, um, there's a gentleman by the name of Master Cole ASMR. Um, sort of been known him for a little while and uh, recently he asked me to be part of his series, Meet the Creators. So uh, he sent me some questions and um, I've answered the questions and if you're interested to see that video please click the link below and uh, you can be taken there and it's just got a few questions um, you might be interested or you might not but there's a little bit of information there for you uh, something else that I've been um, pretty excited about is uh, Game of Thrones has been back on um, <clears throat> so uh, just forgive my voice, I've got a little bit of a cold. And, um, you know, pretty excited to see Game of Thrones. And uh, the last episode, we finally saw Jon Snow come back. Um, I guess they've sort of bowed to his popularity. Um, I can't quite figure out why everyone likes him. I'm one of those people that like him. Um, and they brought him back into the series where I believe in the books he didn't come back so I'm going to be quite interested to see how that turns out and then you've got Aya Stark uh, she's another character which um, a lot of people have been popular you know, well, I, I think she's popular anyway and I quite like her character and I quite like the development of her character where you know she was quite angry to start with and she wanted to um, get back at some people that had uh, not been very nice to her. And <clears throat> she's now basically been part of the uh, temple, or whatever it is, the, the faceless. And um, in the last episode, she got her eyesight back. And so, you know, she could potentially be quite a serious, could have quite serious effect over the whole... Um, the whole storyline, like just one small little person can just do a little drop down and uh, create like a, quite a large ripples. And um, we've already seen her uh, with anger, you know, attack one of the people on her list. And um, I'm quite interested to see what effect she might have in the future. And I'm really, really interested to see, you know, whether she can pull those face masks on and turn into different people. And uh, I'm really, really interested to to see. And I really hope she gets Needle back, her sword. Um, you know, that was part of her character and stuff like that. But if she doesn't, it doesn't matter. She doesn't need it. Um, really interested. And, oh, forgotten the name of the uh, female knight. Um, you know, her character has developed into... A character that people kind of like as well and so she's now met up with the the stark lady and you know that's an interesting um development there and so you know that's a nice little part and you know i'm getting interested the the lannisters and surprisingly now the lannisters are probably the most significant character family of the whole story you know they've got jamie lannister and they've got the queen or the queen's mum and um <laughs> they've got the half man and uh i'm really interested to see how that turns out so kind of like you kind of for me i'm kind of like going for like you know rooting for them as well um but i don't know what's going to happen with that storyline but you know the lannister family is like the whole cornerstone of game of thrones all sort of revolves around them and um you know they've been cast great and uh you know they're a critical part of the story and um yeah, i love all of the characters and stuff like that what happens next i'm sure there's going to be some uh jaw dropping moments and uh as always no one is safe the Queen of Marine, the Mother of Dragons. What's going to happen to her? And how is the Half-Man 
That half man must have a set on him. To walk into a hall with two dragons and unlock them. That was a pretty good part of the uh, one of the previous episodes. And so I just want to give him a shout out or his character a shout out for having a huge set to walk in there. But, you know, what's going to happen with the dragons? Um, you know, I, I don't want to read the books because I don't really want to know too much. But I kind of do want to read the books because usually the books are a little bit better. And, you know, when you read a book like that, you have your own imagination to to create the characters and the stories and the scenes and it kind of is a little bit better but it's also enjoyable to watch uh, the show because the show the show is is really really good and so i'm enjoying that so what happens with the mother of dragons are the dragons going to come back and rescue her you know is she going to take control of the drothalki whatever you call them is she going to like pull them all together and go and attack Westeros or wherever it is she's going to go attack. I don't know. But I think her storyline, to be honest, has uh, been a bit lacklustre. Um, so you've got the two males looking for her. Um, they're two great characters, and I'm very much enjoying that. I'm, I'm really enjoying um, the half-man and the, the unit guy um, and their sort of relationship and stuff like that. So really enjoying their characters so it's just a a great show that i really really enjoy another show that i really enjoyed was the the walking dead so that finished up recently and uh i really enjoyed watching that series the was it fear the walking dead or the the spin-off series i've been watching it but i just can't quite get into it there seems to be moments of some good stuff but he just can't hasn't quite gotten the grip on me that the walking dead did obviously you know it's hard to recreate that that magic that they did at the start of the other one the walking dead but just quite hasn't got it there's a few other tv programs i've been watching but um not a lot Uh, there's some silly ones i like watching uh Oddly enough, a friend of mine I uh, used to work with, he used to like downloading some TV shows and sometimes the TV shows that he would watch, I'd sort of watch a little bit and I'd get into it. And oddly enough, I um, like watching Ink Master. I don't know why. Um, I, I kind of like the critiquing and watching them do the tattoos and just seeing what just seeing the artwork and things like that so i'm watching the current series of ink master and and from the other guy that i work with i got into watching the um the gold mining shows so i watched <laughs> silly enough bering sea gold and i watched the um uh, the other one where they go up to um the north uh, you know the oh, i can't even remember the name of it um i just sort of watch the shows but the the Bering Sea Gold one, I kind of flick through most of it. I flick through the Bering Sea Gold one and I flick through the, the Fear the Walking Dead one a little bit as well. Uh, but Game of Thrones is just a, a perla TV show at the moment and uh, i loving that. What else? Oh, yeah. Um, I just got back from a little bit of a holiday, went to Bali, and uh, that was quite nice. And I'll probably have a little bit of a picture on the background throughout this video, just showing uh, just a spot or two. And... Um, yeah, just a nice break, get away. And now things are sort of changing a little bit uh, here in the background for me, so I should be able to have more time to uh, create some more content for you. Thanks a lot for listening to my rambling, and I'm going to continue recording.